Hey curl friends, it's Kazaya Dama here, founder of Swirly Curly Curl College and the author of The Swirly Curly Method, the easy step-by-step -step guide to getting the curls that you love. Thank you so much for tuning back into the Swirly Curly channel. I'm so happy to have you here today and tuning in for this video. Now I have such an amazing video for you guys because we're gonna be talking about eight foods that can really help your hair growth. Now, these foods are some you might already know and some you might not know about, especially number five. You guys have to hear about number five. If you don't know about it already, it's something I've been putting in my regimen and it has truly, truly helped me. I can really you know, attest to eating healthier and having more better quality foods in my life to my hair growth. And in fact, I just wanna pop up this picture real quick back to when I thought cutting calories, working out every single day and not eating the amount of foods that I eat today and how my hair looked compared to how it is today. And you guys, I've consistently cut my hair year after year and it continuously grows back with no problems, you guys no problem so this is really going to help you this is one that i truly stand by and i cannot wait to share with you guys before we do i just want to let you know if you have not got gotten my free book the swirly curly method what are you waiting for girl i am giving away free books all I ask you to do is just pay for shipping and handling to get the book out of my warehouse in California and right over to you and you guys will get a copy of the Swirly Curly Method. This book is over 150 pages of jam-packed great knowledge when it comes to curly hair. I take the confusion out of curly hair. You're gonna know how to wash your hair on wash day. You're gonna know what products to use and when to use them. You're also gonna know how to be able to rock a wash and go easily or what I love to do myself is the wash and dry method. So you guys, it's jam packed with so much knowledge and I can't wait for you guys to get it. So I'm gonna put the link down below for you so you guys can check it out, get your free copy of the book and let's go. Let's talk about these eight foods. Okay, curl friends, so like I said, you may already know some of these or some of them are gonna be new to you. Or maybe some of them you don't even have in your diet right now. Here's the thing. It might sound kind of boring and this might sound pretty repetitive and maybe you've heard it all before, but I really want you guys to try this out because like I said, it makes such a huge difference, okay? So again, you may have heard some of these or some of them are gonna be really new to you, but if you can, I would definitely recommend trying these in your diet and being consistent with them for at least three months for you to see changes in your hair. All right, you guys, so first one is salmon. Yes, salmon, fish, omega-3 fatty acids that come in this. So here's one thing when it comes about hair. Hair is made of proteins and also fats. So a lot of people are like, oh my God, my hair is so dry. Like how do I get more like oil to my hair or more shine? The more oils you eat, the more oil is going to be in your hair. So you guys, I eat like a ton of oils and my hair has gotten shinier. It has gotten more fuller and all of those things, okay? So now if you do have thinner hair and things like that, like yes, you're not gonna all of a sudden turn around and have like this crazy thick hair, but it's going to really help your hair pump out what it can and what your body can provide for your hair, okay? But salmon, you guys, it's jam-packed with the protein that you need for hair growth and also the oils that you need for shinier, healthier hair, okay? So that's number one. Number two is eggs, you guys. Eggs are amazing for hair growth, for healthier hair and overall body health. There is so much in eggs that I didn't even realize until I got pregnant that they are like the number one thing people should be eating. So if you do not have like a sensitivity to eggs, definitely, definitely eat them. And don't sh shy away from the yolk. A lot of people will just do the egg whites because they're focusing on losing calories or, or losing weight and stuff. But you know, um, the thing is, is that you want the healthier parts of the food. If you're gonna cut down on calories, cut down on the junk food cut down on the sauces the sugars the sodas and the sweets but eat the healthy stuff and eat it complete and full so eggs are essential for hair growth avocado one of my favorite things is avocado again if you want that healthier thicker shinier hair avocado is going to provide those healthier oils for your hair because the thing is is that you can get a ton of oils and a ton of fat in your diet but they can be fried from chips and things like that or you get the oils in your cooking that you may fry as well and it's not the healthiest 
version of oil that your body can actually use to help grow your hair. So avocado, hands down, you guys, if this isn't in your diet, you gotta put it in. If you don't like avocado, I get it, but you know what? Try some guacamole, try add some pico de gallo in it, mix it up, some hot sauce, and I find the more you kind of play with it, the tastier it tastes on the palate. I, I kid you not, I kid you not. It tastes good if you just add stuff to it and just try it a lot of different ways. And I love avocado toast, great way to get in more avocado. All right, you guys, number four is gonna be spinach. So spinach has iron, which really helps um, with the blood flow in your body and it's just so nutrient dense. So the more nutrients you can give your body, the more support you can give your body to do its overall functions, the more it's gonna be able to give to your hair, skin, and nails. So this is why, you know, you guys, with my Curl College members, and if you don't know about Curl College, I'm gonna put the link down below and I'll probably just talk about it at the end of this video, but I wanna give you guys all the great information first, um, is that I tell people, the way that our bodies work is that it's going to provide, you know, function to our liver, to our spleen, to our organs and all of these things before it says, okay, Kaziah, you can have long hair or you can have beautiful skin or all of that. That's the last thing on its list to do. So the more you can eat of healthier foods, the more likely you're gonna have the healthier, you know, blooming hair and skin and nails that you want. It's really a fact of life. So I noticed for me, an example, when I started eating more protein in my diet, my nails got stronger, my hair got stronger, everything got better. I look healthier, I looked more vibrant. And like I showed you guys that picture in the beginning, I just transformed. Like I just looked way healthier than when I was skipping out on calories. Number five, drum roll, you guys. This one's controversial, okay? And I know some of you guys that are watching this probably will never try this, but I have a tip for you. All right, number five is liver, you guys. Yes, I dropped it, liver, I know. I'm even still a little like, am I eating liver these days? But you guys, our ancestors used to eat liver and it's in our blood to eat liver. And you know, like I said, some people might be vegan out here and you guys are just not gonna do it. And I get it, do, do you honey? I'm not saying that you have to do this, but in my experience and experience from friends that have been vegan and have come back to having meat and things like that, they feel healthier and the things that they want in life in terms of like hair, skin and nails and muscle, they're able to get quicker eating you know proteins like liver and things like that so livers are awesome you guys you can do chicken livers those are probably my favorite there's beef liver you know have a few bites here and there but you guys i'm going to show you these tablets that i've been using and they are amazing because you can't taste it you can't smell it or anything like that and it's a way to get in more liver or the nutrients from liver into your diet, you guys. So you gotta try these tablets. I'll put the link down below for you. And again, you guys, I trust you. You will not taste it. You won't burp liver or anything like that, okay? Okay, so you guys, number six, you guys are gonna be you know, surprised by this, but walnuts, walnuts are amazing for your hair growth, okay? They provide vitamin E and a lot of other minerals that you need for hair growth. And it's just great to have in your diet. It's something like, I gotta be honest, I rarely ever eat um, walnuts until I found this out. And so now I rotate my nuts. I'll get Brazil nuts one, you know, two weeks, the next week it's walnuts, you know, every two weeks, then it's pistachios, then it's almonds, and I rotate. Whereas before I would literally just eat almonds, but now I do all of them. And so a variety in your diet is going to be fantastic because you get a variety of minerals and vitamins, okay? Number seven is almonds, along with the walnuts are almonds, again, such a great source of vitamins and minerals for your hair. You cannot go wrong by adding this into your diet. All right, you guys, and the last but not least, number eight that I like is carrots. Surprising enough, they're not only good for your eyes, but they're also good for your hair. They're amazing for your hair. So I literally just take a carrot a day and I'm just like chomping on it throughout the day. And you know what's so great about this? I actually feel healthier when I'm eating it. I just feel like, yes, this is what I should be eating. Like whenever I grab an apple or I grab carrots or cucumbers. And you guys, I gotta tell you that like, I haven't done this in a long time. I just normally eat salads and then all of my other veggies are cooked, but eating them raw takes it to a whole nother level, you guys. So if you can, 
raw carrots, okay? All right. And you guys, I'm just gonna throw in another tip. It's not on the list, but I wanted to throw in a number nine tip for you all, okay? Because this one really moves the needle when it comes to hair growth and everything. So, like I mentioned, hair is made up of protein. So the more protein you can get in your diet, the better. But I find that a lot of women lack protein in their diet because we're just a carb driven type of species. I find, you know, it's easy for adults or any human to want to have carbohydrates because it, you know, changes into sugar really quickly in the body and everything like that. So you get a quicker, you know, burst of energy. So we go for that. Now protein on the other hand is amazing and does the muscle growing, the repairing, the hair growth, and all those things that you want. So I add this into my diet, and since I have over the last few years, it has really changed the game for me, you guys. So number nine, bonus tip is collagen protein powder, you guys. I share this on my master classes. You gotta get you guys a bundle of collagen protein powder. It's a quick way to get in more protein into your diet. And this is the protein that the hair is made of, okay? So the hair can make, you know, growth with other proteins, but this one is specifically for beauty. So you guys, make sure you get your bottle of this. I'm gonna put the link down below for you all. And let me know which one of these, or if not all, are you gonna add in your diet down in the comment box? Let me know, you guys, all of these I have in my diet, I eat all of these, and it really, truly helps. I can tell you it does. So if you're after hair growth, you gotta do this, you guys. All right, and thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel, you guys. If you're not already, I'd love to have you back so you guys can get more information on how to care for your curly hair and have your best curls ever. All right, you guys, thank you, I love you, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye now.